a quick look at the Stealth 2.0 X quad frame. This is how it comes out of the box. A little four screws in each corner to hold it together during shipping. I already loosened them, of course. This is your vent. The system so it doesn't affect your barometer when it starts to heat up inside. Top's got a rubber seal on it, or a belt seal basically. Some extra support there with some brass inserts. I opted to get the white bottom. A black top and white bottom. It does not come with the Velcro. I put that in to hold my ECSs in. Get the rest of the screws to hold the frame together. The nylon. Nuts and bolts to hold your uh, motors in. One thing that he doesn't mention on his site that he should is he has dimples. That's your center where your novice should be, right in the center of your two X's. I mount that right on top of that. And you can see it again inside. It's pretty flexible, but once you get that glued together, that'll be pretty stiff. It could be a little stiffer, but if you make it any stiffer, it's not going to be right. Like I said, once you get it together, it's glued, it won't move so much. A lot of room in here. I'll show you a comparison with two batteries in there. Stick both of these in the center with your center wire here. Hook that up. You still have enough room for your electronics down the center. These are two five thousand or fifty five hundred amp hour three S batteries. That'd be eleven. 1100 amp hours, or 11,000 amp hours, sorry. Here's your top. A little bit more of a close up here. So I am sure this sounds crappy on here too. You also have dimples to drill your holes for your motor brackets. I'm not going to use them. I'm going to put a spacer on top and screw the motor fast straight to the frame. Get your bypass valve.
this is a clear piece of black sand on top. Nice nylon screws. Nylon thumb screws, of course, so you can get in it. Not doing a bad job. And this is kind of, I don't know what you call that, it's like a neoprene type rubber. Yeah, as long as it seals right. Not too bad there. This guy's just doing this in his garage on this the thermal sealer, so or thermal vacuum, whatever you want to call it. Injection molding or thermal molding. Like I say, he just glued some pieces on the back here. But not too bad for service purpose. When I get it together, I'll do another video of it. I got the white bottom, so if I ever flip it over in the river, you're not going to see the black. If you ever flip it over in the water, the white will stand out like a sore thumb if I have to go after it. I plan on flying this, uh, a mile or two away, so here at your summer place we have a nice big river almost a mile wide, so I right, hope that helps somebody looking for one.